What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Oh, I mean, I think it's just uh, just trying to be the best you can be. I mean, going out there competing every day, and that's that's the one thing I love about the games that you can go in there day in and day out and just compete and uh, just strive to win. And I think that's what pushed me this far uh, in my career so far. How about hitting? Do you have a hitting philosophy? Do you approach the pitchers individually, or do you have the same approach? Yeah, yeah. I try to stay fairly aggressive. I mean, uh, my my mentality is. Uh, is always on go, and I just want to go and uh, attack uh, pitches I can hit and uh, let everything fall into place. Being a first round draft pick, did that put more pressure on yourself? No, I mean, it, it's one of those where I can only control what I can control. I'm not, I can't let outside pressure sort of sort of affect how I play. So I had to go in there and just play like I have my, my whole life and uh, just enjoy playing every day and uh, just, just go out there and play the best of my abilities and uh, just let that speak for itself. You did good, but there's a lot of first-round draft picks that are getting passed up by guys drafting later rounds once they get in the organization. Why does that happen? I mean, I think uh, I think some guys have the tendency to settle, and I mean, I think that's what what it takes sometimes, and and it just comes down to your your drive. I mean, if you want to just be the best you can be, I don't think you'd be passed up in that aspect of the game. Now, spring training, they bring in more guys to compete with you for your spot. How do you approach that? You just have to go in and and, and focus on on playing and improving yourself. I mean, getting better every day, taking care of your body, and uh, mentally mentally being prepared to play, uh, play every day. And I think that's the biggest thing. And uh, I mean, you can't look at it as a competition. You just have to go out there and control what you control and everything can uh, take care of itself. Now baseball, there's injuries you up and down the organizations and stuff like that. Have you ever thought about not playing baseball? No. I mean, it's one of those things that's always been in my life so far. But I mean, uh, I did go attend three years of college and uh, and close to my degree. So it's one of those things where, where I feel like I have a couple options. But uh, for me, baseball has been uh, my my career path of, of choice so far. I'm happy I can uh, continue that so far. What about pro sports you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? Oh man, I, I think for me the biggest thing was just, I mean, playing every day. I mean, you hear about it for, for baseball that you play every day, and, and, and I think that was the biggest thing, whether you're, you're catching a plane in, in the early morning and playing a night game the same day, or, or, I mean, playing every day, every week. And I mean, I think that's the thing that, that I had adapted the most. I mean, you signed a pro contract, obviously, a professional baseball player, but was there was a time that you realized that you're going to play professional baseball, your dream was going to come true? Uh, I mean, I think I always aspired to have that dream when I was growing up. I mean, I think every every young kid does, and I've been I've been fortunate with opportunities that have come along the way, playing playing in college, and then being able to extend it here. And I mean, I, I've just sort of enjoyed every game I got to play and, and work hard every day. And and I mean, hopefully, I can play for a long time. You read the scouting reports where Baseball America ranks you, or all that stuff like that? No, no. I mean, to me, it's just. They're, they're doing their jobs, and I can't get caught up into that. I mean, I can only control myself and how I play, and I'm going to go about that every day. How do you handle the fans, loud mouth, people yelling at you and stuff like that? I mean, it, it's one of those when you're playing, you got a lot of other things to worry about. I mean, you just tone those guys out. I mean, you're trying to get a pitcher through an inning or, or having at bat. And, uh, I mean, it, it, for me, it's been fairly easy to tone those people out. How about the umpires, especially being a catcher? How do you handle the umpires? Oh man, I, I have to have a personal relationship with them. I mean, I have to, I have to get on the right page with them and treat them with respect. And, and I think that's the biggest thing for me is, is that if I can get on the same page with them and communicate, I, I can get a lot of, a lot in return from them. What would you tell a high school play, baseball player about professional baseball? Oh, just, just continue to work hard. I mean, obviously there's opportunities everywhere. I mean, just continue to work hard and, and trust your coaches and what they have to say, and just, and just play as hard as you can. All right, man. Yep. You got